Hey there, I'm Pamela. I'm the Community Manager for ReCore, and today we're going to learn about Joule's different abilities and the combo system in ReCore. Developed specifically for this vast and unforgiving environment, Mandate Exoframes have a waist-mounted vertical thruster that allows for an extended second jump. To perform a double jump, tap A and then A again while in the air. Experimenting with the timing of these button presses can extend a jump much farther or allow for swift changes in direction. Your exo-frame is also equipped with lateral thrusters. These ankle-mounted components allow for quick bursts of forward, backward, or side-to-side -side movement. To execute a short dash, tap B while moving. Hold the B button for a longer dash distance. Combining your exo-frame's jump and dash together will greatly extend the distance you can cover. For the most distance, first dash off a ledge, double jump, and then dash again while still in the air. In the event of a Corobot malfunction, all Far Eden personnel are outfitted with an Inafune Heavy Industries MK3 Energy Rifle. These rifles are powerful enough to disable or destroy rogue Corobots, but should only be used when no other option is available. To fire the rifle, press and hold the right trigger, Energy rifles recharge their ammunition over time. Most personnel received limited weapons training before their voyage to Far Eden. But with practice, your skill with your energy rifle will increase. Each level you gain will result in higher damage, rate of fire, and or accuracy. The charge shot upgrade for your MK3 energy rifle shapes standard projectiles into an energy sphere of variable, devastating power. Press and hold the right bumper to prime the charge shot. The longer you prime, the more powerful the charge shot will be. Release the right bumper to fire. The blue charge shot has a chance to stun. The red charge shot may set targets on fire, and the yellow charge shot may destabilize targets. Your exo frame is also equipped with an extractor, a claw-like device with many practical applications. First lock onto a target with the left trigger, then click the right stick to fire the extractor. The extractor can be used to pull or dislodge certain objects in the world. As an alternative to completely destroying rogue core bots, personnel are encouraged to use the extractor to remove their cores which will destroy the frames, but leave the cores intact. Do not pull the extractor when its cable is red, which indicates high tension on the line. Instead, release the tension and wait for another opportunity to pull. Strong cores may require extended give and take, not unlike a game of tug of war. Caution! Cores cannot be extracted until they have been sufficiently weakened by damage from your rifle or from your companion corbot. The white triangle markers on a rogue corbot's health bar represents the amount of damage that must be inflicted before you can extract their core. Only when an enemy's health is sufficiently reduced can the extractor successfully attach to the target core. Extracting cores is the primary way to harvest core fusion material but keep in mind that extracting cores will destroy their frame as well as all crafting hardware associated with that frame, so choose wisely. Corebot health bars are divided into layers. Breaking layers will increase your combo count, which applies a damage multiplier to attacks. A combo count of 10 powers up your extractor's instant extraction ability. Use this ability to immediately extract a core from a rogue corebot and gain a health bonus. Thanks for watching, and if you want to learn more about ReCore, head on over to our website, ReCoreGame.com, and on our social channels, at ReCoreGame. Safe travels in Far Eden.